Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a T21 which I love with all my heart skill. Oh you soft light tank lover, yes I am. But for real, uh, this vehicle is kind of budget type 64 if you would ask me. Um, all and all what this tank is capable of, obviously this tank is a light tank, you are able to spot the enemies, blah blah blah, everyone knows the drill. Uh, and now speaking about the gun, easy game, easy game. Now, uh, looking into the gun, we have 115 alpha damage, uh, 130mm of penetration and sh a bit shy of the 800 shell velocity, right? Uh, close but no banana pretty much. Uh, and in the same time speaking about the... And in the same time, speaking about the gold ammunition, we have 177 millimeters of penetration and 990 shell velocity uh, as well. A bit shy of 1000 meters per second, but all in all, it is pretty solid if you would ask me. Okay, the first battle um, and the first matchmaking which we have is definitely not solid banana out of 10. You can say whatever you want. Um, we have a uh, three Artas, yikes. We have the six light, seven light tanks. Holy mother of bananas. This is not looking great. And in the same time, we have a mountain pass, which is absolutely disgusting speaking about the um, map for a light tank. So yeah, uh, it doesn't look very, very great. It doesn't look very appetizing, if I can say so, but we will try to make it work. Um, we cannot expect to get Prokurovka, Kempinovka, all the time you know it's just not how this game is uh, working so we need to make it work nevertheless what is the map and what is the matchmaking um now speaking about the um now speaking how would i rate this tank overall right uh, looking into the ooh, ooh, okay that's good i like it I like it, fellas. Now, look at this. We are using double bush, and now we are going to farm this mother trucker like there is no tomorrow. I, I'm the same it completely here, but that doesn't really change absolutely anything. Okay, we should be able to farm him. Uh, at this point, we have equal amount of the hit points, right? Which is always nice and always welcome, but we should be able to farm him into the... Cupola. Good. Even though he is quite annoying, it doesn't change the fact we are able to eliminate him from the game. And now all we need to do, we need to make sure we are going to, to kill our um, biggest opponent in a way. Type 64, because let's get real. Type 64 is known for being absolutely amazing and epic uh, light tank. Beautiful start. Very, very nice. 1.5 thousand damage. This is looking great. And while I, I thought nothing is going to happen for a couple of seconds, so I, I was about to share how the things are looking like in the index page and how am I um, rating the light tanks overall? But looks like we will, uh, and we will be able to do that uh, after the game, right? So all good, everything is fine. And let's focus on the game more than a focus on the ratings of the vehicles, I would say. Meanwhile, this gentleman is sitting in humongous trouble. Mm. How to get involved? Do I want to go for that type um, Kava 85? Hmm. I do not really want to do that. What could happen? T-50s might try to make pressure like this and I think they are going to go for it. So, um, what we are preparing for, we are preparing for their invasion. We are going to take this um, this mini bush and we will wait until the T-50s will go in front. I know I could get potentially slaughtered because of them, but uh, um, in the same time, I believe this should work very, very well, fellas. Um, let's sit for a second and let's wait until enemies will mess up. Because once again, I want to believe they want to get involved into this game. At least they should get involved in this game eventually. Mm. 
I'm feeling like it is Armageddon. If you would pay attention into the sky, you would see our clicker Schnei. Woo! How are you doing today? If you would pay attention, fellas, uh, into the sky, you would notice our clickers are clicking, enemies clickers are clicking, everyone is clicking left, right, and center. This is absolutely madness. By the way, that was a good read on the light tanks. We figured out exactly what they are going to do and how they are going to make pressure. So we cannot say it was a bad thing or something, right? I would say that was very, very solid decision. Nice, beautiful, fellas, very nice. Although. Uh, while I was talking about Armageddon, I must admit I did not notice the um, T-50 is making a hardcore pressure. But once again, not a big deal. Extremely good game all and all, I would say. Um, we have an absolutely amazing start for our video, right? Um, we did everything definitely properly. Uh-oh. Good, very nice. Um, two more Jeffs to go, and I think I am going in front like there is no tomorrow. I could allow T50 to push in front. You know what, T50, go. You have more hit points, you can do this. T50, meow, going in front like there is no tomorrow, and we figured out Arte is sitting over there. That's completely fine. What we are going to do now, we are going to try to find a better angle. He is aiming for our light tank, and our light tank should be able to kill him. Beautiful. Um, all and all, extremely great game. I am happy how we started this game and what we have done, although, once again, I must admit um, my reaction wasn't top notch anyways what i really wanted to show before night um T21 is overall rated as a good tank and indeed I want to believe and I believe this vehicle is pretty uh, damn good. Um, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, if you are struggling with the field modifications, feel free to click here to figure out what field modifications to use. Uh, if you care about the crew skills, how you can start our journey, you can start our, uh, your journey like this, right? Uh, there is a crew suggestions from now on in the index page, uh, there is expectation value as there is uh, a value as for ace uh, there is average performance overall speaking about the server over there so uh, as you can see there is quite some stuff uh, and I hope this is um, overall useful uh, for you speaking about the index page and we are improving it daily uh, there is uh, cr it is pretty crazy to be fair with you how much um, how much of the stuff we are implementing and we are trying to keep up with everything so yeah that's the thing oh I I wasn't thinking and I went into the battle without showing the score. Uh, we will check double score after this. I sincerely apologize. Anyways, uh, let's report into the start of the game. And we are back. So what do we have? We have a tier 8 matchmaking, which is not very great. Uh, the map is Kharkov, which is also not ideal. Yeah, this is not looking like it is going to be an epic um, battle, but you never know, fellas. So how we are going to start everything, um, I do not really think we need to um, research um, another bicycle, right? So how we are going to start everything, we will start everything by taking a typical bush in the Foxtrot one, and hopefully from this typical bush we will be able to outspot enemies who will try to play here. That's the plan, that's the hope, and that's the dream. Um, obviously this bush is usually overcrowded and everyone knows this bush, but fellas, if it works, there is no reason to research bicycle, right? I believe you agree with me and it is quite straight forward. Now, what do we have here? We have a Centurion 5 slash 1. This is not very good and we do not want to fight against him. And you know what? In fact, we are seeing the Comet who is making a hardcore pressure. I'm going to claim Comet's life. Uh, we simply have way too many forces sitting in this area, so I do not really think it is beneficial for us to 
to sit with seven other guns in the same position. Instead of doing that, we are searching for a tourists who are making one or another mistake. And if you would pay attention here, you would notice the comment is about to um, go like crazy mother trucker. And indeed, he goes. Indeed, fellas, he goes. Good, this is exactly what we want to see, right? We can punish him once, twice, or three times. Doesn't really matter. And now we are going to chase for this guy. Once again, I do not see the point why would I fight against Centurion 5 slash 1 when he is fully hold down. It simply doesn't make any sense whatsoever. At least that's what I think. Meanwhile, our Cromwell went in front like crazy mother trucker. And he pretty much eliminated 300 hit points of the comet. But this gentleman, he is having a time of his life indeed. He eliminated our Arta and he is uh, um, playing like a tourist. But you know what? It works pretty well for him and you cannot say absolutely anything. This kind of decision paid off uh, for this guy. Is he going to survive this situation? Absolutely not. He is uh, uh, dead already and I believe I do not really need to say that and he can go to the garage i shouldn't take one more shot to be fair with you but it is how it is um pretty hard start all and all i would say uh, unfortunately, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, but we lost a lot of hit points against this comet, but that's on me obviously um and I am not feeling 100% happy about this uh, uh, this game overall, right? But uh, there is still plenty of space for us to improve. I know we should be able to get definitely more use, right? And what do we have? We have um, enemy light tank who is making quite a bit of pressure like this. But you know what? This should work very, very well. Now, if he is going to go in... Um, I believe we can punish him without getting punished ourselves. Plus on top of that we have a Chiri who is sitting here. So if the things will go well, he is just going to appear here in no time whatsoever. Meanwhile, what do we have? We have a Pavlak tank who is making quite a bit of pressure. I do not really think I can be very much involved against him, at least not yet. At least not yet, fellas. The question is, what is the chance? Uh -huh. I was about to say, what is the chance of this um, 1357 sitting in this bush? But as you can see, it is definitely not the case. Meanwhile, let's take our time to aim and let's eliminate the Crusader from the game. Beautiful. And what do we have now? We have quite a bit of the deficit, speaking about the hit points. Um, our team is losing by 1000 HP, although we have the same amount of the guns, so at least that's something. At this point, we should be able to eliminate Ikea from the game. Ikea is dead. And as you can see, fellas, sometimes this is the right way to do the things, and sometimes you just need to be... Um, Passive in a way, right? You do not need to go in front and make pressure like there is no tomorrow because uh, you can finish everything while taking one for the team and this is not what we are looking for. Now if the things will go well, we should be able to smack this uh, Ergashem and kill him. Uh, and I believe this is going to be the case. After this Ergashem, we should be able to eliminate Pavlak Tank from the game as well. So let's see, can we kill this Ergashem and Ergashem is dead, beautiful. Now we want to go for Mr. Pavlak tank, right? This is a step two for us. So let's see, can we pick up this kill as well? Trying to go for this gentleman, he is not paying too much mm, attention. Luckily he is dead, beautiful. Now we can eliminate the Joch tank over there. Once again, he is not feeling extremely well, I can promise you that. He is a sh he is shooting our light tank and light tank took one for the team, but it doesn't really matter. Good. Okay, look, the score wise, this is a shit score. Um, there is nothing to sugarcoat, it is not a great score, 700 damage, right? Um, but in the same time, um, we 
pick up four kills, right? So at least this is something. Um, is it ideal game by us? F no, absolutely not. I was just simply way too paranoid. If enemies are going to win the game, I cannot be so aggressive as I initially uh, thought I can be, right? Uh, and unfortunately, the fight against the Comet did not pay off. So in this game, I did not manage to get any assisting damage and we have very, very average or even below average uh, um, damage as well. But you know, what i am not feeling too bad about this i know you cannot have uh, every single game epic and whenever you are getting the map where you cannot spot that well in this kind of situation harkov uh, this is what you are having Right, plus on top of that being bottom tier is not that easy to play as well and there is nothing to say um, I simply misplayed this game I could be a bit more aggressive but that's fine um, have you noticed that fellas whenever I am speaking so nice about the tank I am having uh, um, kind of finger up the butt and whenever I am shit talking the tank saying the tank is disgusting we are just having a great performance that's nuts and I do not really know how it works anyways uh, we are fifth by experience we are seventh by the damage definitely not great game um we managed to get 16,000 profits so that's something and the game which we had before that was the mountain pass first class high caliber 2.7 thousand damage for uh, kills 300 assisting damage and we made 59,000 profits which is always nice and always welcome right anyways let's go for round number three shall we and we are back fellas, so what do we have? We have a tier um, 4 matchmaking, which is absolutely uh, insane for us. And what we need to do, we need to get that, obviously, at least uh, uh, 3,000 combined score. I know the overall HP pool is not looking great, and indeed it is not amazing, but I believe we are definitely capable of doing so. Um, and I want to believe, I kind of want to get even more involved than this, but is it worth it, fellas? Is it worth it? This is the question. The thing is, since the base is here and we are playing against the lower tiers, what should happen? Enemies should get a very, very involved like this. Um, at least that's what I want to believe, fellas. This is what I want to believe. So far, we are not spotting absolutely anything. So, you know what? I am going to get even more involved. Probably it is not worth it. And in fact, I'm going to drop down like this. That's completely fine. And you might wonder, skill, you are sitting in the shithole. Nah, to be fair with you, I am sitting completely fine. I know I am being a bit um, over aggressive here. I am very, very well aware of that. But in the same time, it is not that bad of idea. Uh, plus, we can definitely spot people who are playing here as well right wow okay they have probably someone sitting in this bush here um maybe even closer maybe even somewhere over there so we need to keep this in mind fellas oi oi not the greatest start i repeat not the greatest start okay while our Keho is taking one for the team, we are going to escape from this position and we need to figure out where this Vaka Derbgan is sitting at. Okay, Vaka Derbgan is sitting over there. Good. This is overall good information for us. Now we know um, where this guy is sitting at and what to avoid, uh, which position to avoid overall. So at this point, I am going to relocate a bit. Um, I would say I am even going to make pressure like this maybe. I think we could cross here relatively easily. Uh, and then whenever we are having a hill, we will be able or we will attempt to outspot the enemy Vaka. This is the plan, this is the hope, this is the dream. And this Oi, he is blind. He cannot see shit. And this is completely understandable, fellas. Uh, who is penetrating him, by the way? I would say he's getting penetrated by the Hellcat. 
Um, this would be my initial prediction. Meanwhile, Hetzer is going in front step by step, little by little. Good. At this point, we can start banging him. Uh, luckily for us, we are getting support from our team. We are getting a bit of uh, assisting damage here. That's fine. Okay, let's try to get involved. Now, like I said before, I want to believe Hellcat is sitting here. How we should and how we could outspot him? This is the question. So let's see. Can we see something? Going for a blind shot. Definitely not a direct hit. Okay. Unfortunately, we cannot see anything. Now, that's fine, fellas. Four minutes of thinking. Unfortunately, so far, we haven't done anything extraordinary, but that's fine. It is not even close for us winning this game, even though we are winning by three guns, right? We are still losing by the hit points, and this is a super important thing to say and to highlight overall. Okay, that's good. One. Two. Three. Four, five, I said five, mm -hmm. we know we are Vakais, we know we are Vakais, Vakais sitting right there, so what we are going to do, we are going to get just tiny touch more involved against him. And I am hoping our guys will be able to support us whenever we will get more involved into all this, right? Once again, it is quite straightforward where this gentleman is sitting at and what he is doing. It doesn't matter he is penetrating us with a gold, I truly do not care. In fact, he is going to the garage in a moment, right? Uh, we are proxy spotting him, I am feeling great, he is not feeling that great. Uh, plus on top of that, once again, we have a bit of support. It doesn't matter which side this guy would go. Would he go left, would he go right? He is still sitting in the deep shithole overall, right? Good, beautiful, this gentleman is dead. At this point, we can go for... Uh, um, for remaining forces here. For example, this Lago. Let's go. Uh, we can use auto aim without bigger problems whatsoever. Lago doesn't have that great DPM to eliminate us from the game completely. So all we need to do, we need to go for a couple of the uh, flanking maneuvers there and there. And at this point, the Super Hellcat or Standard Hellcat is our victim, right? They still have Oi and Marder. And if I'm not mistaken, both of those gentlemen are trying to aim for us. But once again, it doesn't really um, change anything. At this point, I would love to have high explosives loaded, and I would love to smack enemy Hellcat if it is possible. In fact, this Hellcat should try to escape from this. If he would, um, we would obviously smack him once in the face. Uh, but you know what is unfortunate thing for us? He is not doing uh, so. Okay, fair enough. How about this Oi? How are you doing? That's one. So at this point, the Oi is down to one shotable, and all we need to do, we need to kill them all at this point, right? Uh, once again, not ideal game. I would love to say um, we would have better performance score-wise. I don't feel like my game was completely pile of caco apart one decision when I decided to be aggressive like this. That wasn't great. But other than that, I did not felt like I am playing like a big bag of poop, if you know what I mean. This is very important thing to say. Okay, he is dead, beautiful, and at this point we can start claiming murder life. Um, this guy, he cannot do absolutely anything, he can imagine doing something, but uh, reality is a bit different. You see, uh, not having turret is a humongous disadvantage in the world of tanks. It doesn't really matter how you are going to look into this, it is just simply not great. Anyways, he is dead, go to the garage, and we are winning the game. Um, two and a half thousand combined... Once again, I wish I could play a bit better, but I didn't. And I need to live with what um, with what we have, right? With a performance which we managed to craft in this session. Once again, not horrible, but definitely could be better.
Would I say this tank is um, very, very close uh, to be close level with a Type 64? I would say yes. In my humble opinion, this vehicle is extremely close to be level of the Type 64. That's what I think. Um, top by experience, top by the damage. We made some profits as well. And after three games, our performance is 1.7 thousand damage and 350 assisting damage. That's not bad. I think I am overreacting and I think I am talking a bit too much than I should. It wasn't a horrible game. It wasn't a horrible performance, but I know for a fact it could be a bit better. Uh, so yeah, fellas, thank you very much for watching. I hope you were very, very well entertained and I hope you uh, learned one or another uh, um, tip or trick for yourself and have a lovely day, fellas. Skill is out for today. Peace.